we're losing some persimmons. It's been hot and we're on water rationing. And I can hand water individual trees and things, but that's it. Yeah, got the air conditioner on, sorry for the noise. It's hot. Thermometer says it's 89 inside the tool shed. However, it's, uh, it's 100 in Waco. Hot. You know, it's been 27 consecutive days with three digit temperatures, 100 degrees or above. Um, we did get a few at 107. That was a little north of us, a little north. Yeah, a little north of us. Um, here in Waco, 106, China Spring, which is just on the other side of the road, uh, 107. And the evenings, oh, it doesn't get below, with, with only a couple of exceptions, it hasn't gone below 85 at night. And the average, like at 10 o'clock at night, is 90 degrees. And it doesn't until the wee hours of the morning that it drops down to 85. We did have a couple of 77s. Cool nights. Unusually hot. I, I think it's been hotter like in Arizona and even Southern California, however, so I'm not going to complain too much. I have seen some of that down there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm watering the trees. They're looking wilty and we're kind of on water restriction. Even numbered addresses at the moment can uh, water on, I think, Sunday and Wednesday, two days a week. The window is before sunup and after sundown. But you're allowed to hand water plants, which I, that's what I'm doing there. I'm kind of hand watering the trees um, anytime they need it. So it's not too, too severe of water restriction, but we're getting there because we haven't had rain in a long time. Uh, yeah, and those trees are looking kind of wilty and I'm, I'm hoping for some, uh, some fruit. We dropped a persimmon, which is not unusual, but that usually happens a little later in the year. Uh, end of July, that's still kind of premature for that to happen. So, for whatever that's worth. Hang on a minute, I gotta go change the water. This is concerning me a little bit too. The uh, cracks are getting more severe. Yeah, what happens is the uh, ground gets really dry and then it cavitates, it drops and the concrete is left there. And then it decides to separate and droop. And so where that was a gentle slope for runoff, it's now a much bigger slope and it's putting a lot of weight on the uh, concrete and even though it is steel reinforced it's bending the steel as it cracks not good nothing like spraying myself with water there that'll do <laughs> yeah well spraying myself with water isn't a bad thing it's 100 degrees outside Felt pretty good. Not a problem. It'll dry quickly. Uh, so while I finish that up, I've been thinking the last time we were together, I was working on the lawnmower and I did a deep dive in the interwebs. Why do they call it the interwebs? And one of the suggestions that came up was check to make sure that the choke is working properly. In other words, the that the cable hasn't stretched or moved and so it may not be closing the choke all the way. So I'm gonna go check that. But it's 150 degrees in the garage. Okay, that ought to work pretty good. A few more minutes. In the garage, it's a little cooler. It's barely 100. Okay, it's... It's officially hot. I gotta drink some of this. Oh no! We're getting kind of low. I gotta get me some more Gatorade. Now, Gatorade doesn't sponsor me or anything. It's just the drink of choice to get the electrolytes back in. 
I do have an affiliate link with uh, Amazon. So if you buy yourself Gatorade or Powerade or any of those things, which you need for electrolytes in the hot summer like this, uh, use my link and you'll help put food on my table. Thank you in advance. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. I'm sorry guys, you know, it, it's just way too hot out there. Uh, you know, 100 degrees and uh, I could turn the fan on but that's not gonna bring the temperature down. I hit my head twice on this thing. I hit my head someplace else. I, I've, I've discovered that even though I enjoy warm weather versus freezing weather, um, too much hot weather uh, just makes me crazy. It makes me stupid. Stupider, actually. I, uh, a good friend of mine sent me this photo. Let me show this to you. Yeah, fellow uh, amateur astronomer buddy of mine, you see me with uh, the telescope looking at the sun. That's the sun, and uh, I'll I'll put a. <laughs> it's got a smile on its face. Look at that. Yeah, it's smiling at me, going, "Yeah, you are stupid." Okay, you may be wondering why I brought this in here. Back in the day when Shooting Kid was still living at home, he mowed the lawn uh, because he really loved this uh, this sit down mower. Uh, but he, he would get a little on the, shall we say, ambitious side. God, that was fast. And run over things, <laughs> crash into things. And uh, the, the plastic bumper here cracked and broke. And this is the lever that uh, adheres so that you can flip up the hood. Well, every time I do that, it bends kind of weirdly and it doesn't lock into place. So, I think there used to be little things that came out and snapped onto here. Uh, they're not there anymore. I'm gonna drill holes, put some bolts in, and then that'll keep the, the body part and the bumper part connected to this little frame thing that attaches to the rest of the frame and lets it flip up. I'm rambling on because I'm still hot, even though it's, it's 84. It's cooling down in here. All right, I got these uh, two nylon lock nuts and a couple of screws that are long enough, I think, to uh, go from the frame through the plastic and mount. I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna add a couple of washers too because uh, who doesn't like a couple of extra washers? I've been kvetching about how hot it is. I haven't even asked you guys yet. Um, leave a comment down below, tell me kind of where you're living, like Tucson, Arizona, Waco, Texas, Juneau, Alaska, you know, wherever, wherever you are living, tell me what the temperature is right now as you are watching this. And uh, if you're hotter than me, well, you win the overheating prize. I'm not going to give it to you. Mr. Sun will give it to you. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going to go this way because, well, I can't. Gosh darn need another bit but the hole here is probably quarter inch it is so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go right through the plastic wish me luck nice okay and then I'll do the same thing over here nice now on the plastic side I'll use the bigger bit just so I don't have any problems. I don't know if you can see anything that I'm doing, but... Whoa, hey, that went pretty good. Do this side. All right. I like it. You know the drill. Bolt, washer, go through the thing. Uh, go through the thing. There you go. Oh. Ooh. Barely. Barely. Got to squeeze hard. You know what? Trusty Irwin. Yeah. Irwin will help in this situation. I just open him up a little bit, squeeze him down, and he'll give me the compression that I need so I can get my, maybe, get that in there. Be patient. 
Could be worse. Could be 100 degrees in here, huh? There you go. That's enough to get the nylon bolt in. Oh man, is this the right bolt? Oh. Today's lesson is in futility. Okay, when I first pulled these out, um, I thought they were these. These are 24 threads, these are 32 threads. I didn't pay attention. My nylons are 24 threads, which would work great on this screw not so great on this screw. The problem is my 24s are shorter than my 32s and too short for this. I got to come up with another idea. This won't work. I either have to run down to the hardware store, which I don't want to do right now. It's getting late. Uh, I'm going to modify this. I'm actually going to take this part of plastic out. I'm going to bend this in and I'm going to push this red thing further into the bumper thing so that that other shirt bolt will fit. Like it will, it, it can, it just, it's, it's about, it's about that much too small. Come on, Erwin, work for me. Ooh, I think this is gonna work. I think, I think I, I don't think it's working. There you go. Oh, come on, Erwin. Work for me, Erwin. I need your help, Erwin. Okay. If I can at least get a thread on there. <gasps> can I get a thread on there? Uh, Erwin. Oh man. It is so close. I can feel it. Where's my... Oh. Oh, it grabbed. Oh, that's so satisfying. I hit my head again. It's gotta be this one. Yes, of course it is. All right. Screwdriver, please. I didn't use a washer. You know why? No worky. Not enough room. Okay. I'll do this side now. Oh my gosh. This is like exciting. Uh, thank you, Erwin. Erwin. Let go. Let go, Erwin. Erwin. It's like I'm talking to my dog. Next dog I get, his name is going to be Erwin. Especially if he's kind of mouthy and he doesn't want to let go. I know this is blocking all of you. You know what? Uh, I'm sorry in advance, but I have to do it. Other screw. Other nut. Here we go. Here we go. I know. Oh, look! You can't see. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. I'll let you s look. It's on. It's right there. It's right there. It's on. I'm going to slide this baby on there. Oh, man. This is feeling good. So I can't go anymore. I'll do this one over here. Come on. Over here. Over here. Take a look. No, no. Down here. Down here. Down. Down here. Take a look down. There you go down here now focus okay pop that in there I'm even doing this left-handed look at me I'm left-handed <sighs> okay I'm telling you not sponsored but by personal experience if you don't have an Irwin or two or three or four which I got a couple there get yourself one I'll have a link below it's the helping hand. Erwin is my helping hand. Okay, do you know what you're looking at? Yeah, I did. I, I took them out, put washers in. There was just, you can even see that it is kind of still indenting a bit, but I needed to spread that load um, over a broader space just so that I wouldn't tear up that plastic. But the bumper is on. Okay, now the challenge will be, uh, I gotta put this thing back on. All right, let's see if I can do this before I melt. Slide this guy in there and that guy in there. Uh, uh, can I do it? Look. Look at that. There you go. It works. Oh, you know, gotta put the light bulbs in. Hey. 
Mean looking grill, huh? Yeah, that's about all I can stand of that. Uh, I have to come back in here and cool off. Okay. Sorry I didn't get to what I thought I was going to get to. That's been like that for four years. Five years. Yeah. It was just like the same year we bought that, that thing got all messed up and I've just lived with it. Now, it's fixed. And I feel good. I still got to get the stupid thing started, but I'll... I'll do that earlier in the morning. Maybe I'll take you along with me the next time. Don't forget to subscribe and do all that and watch the next video and I'll see you over there.